Hello, my name is Joshua Milton, and this is the um, the developing teacher to improve lesson plans technology assignment for class EAD um, five twenty three. So, uh, for this video, I will be discussing a lesson that I have done on ecology, and um, so two to three student learning objectives. The first objective would be that students will um students will analyze students will analyze and interpret evidence to explain the unity and diversity of life and the second objective would be students will investigate and evaluate the interdependence of living organisms and their environment and what that that what that really breaks down to is just students will learn about evolution and they will also learn about um Charles Darwin and natural selection and both these uh, topics are very important in biology. So, a description of the lesson activities. For this lesson, for the first portion of the lesson, we would discuss Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin was a naturalist. He uh, he voyaged around the world. Um, a little history on Charles Darwin. He was a uh, um, he was born in February of eighteen oh nine. He traveled around the world, but the most specific portion of the um the importance of this lesson is that he traveled to the Galapagos Islands. And when he went to the Galapagos Island, he studied different um different animals on those islands. So the the thing about these islands are they have they all have different climates, they all have different populations of animals and they all have different um what's the word I'm looking for? Different um different shrubbery to eat from so yeah what i mean by that is tall trees short trees the insects are different some of them have hard shells the the, the nuts and the seeds are also different so all these different are all those all these islands are in the same vicinity but they all have different climates different things to eat and on these different um on these different uh islands they all have the same types of animals. So the three main types of animals they had were tortoises, uh, finches, and iguanas. And all these animals were different in their respective islands. Why? Because of the different climate. So Charles Darwin discovered that these animals were different because they had to evolve to um they had to evolve to be able to survive on this uh, on their respective islands. So the lesson activity I have planned for them is to just, just uh, we're going to use Nearpod. We're going to uh, try to um, go and uh, discover and um, look at those Galapagos Islands and kind of see the different types of animals and, uh, that were on those islands. We're going to try to see the different type of finches and the different types of uh, tortoises that was on the island. And then try to see that the different things that they ate. That way, we will be able to see why they had to make those these adaptions. All right, and uh, um, the assessment we will be using, we will be using some assessment from quizzes, some assessments from Blook It. The assessments from quizzes will be just like our informal assessments that we will use to um to just track their knowledge as we go through, and then. We will also have a unit test at the end to make sure that they have the knowledge that they need to get ready for the state test. Um, so two to three evidence-based articles that support incorporate technology into this lesson. One would be one by Raja and Nagas Sabrani. Um, they had a quote in this article. It said, it has to be understood that visual explanation of concepts makes learning fun and enjoyable for students. So with this, while using uh while using Nearpod and actually being able to see the different types of finches, being able to see the different types of animals that they had to eat, this would be using visual um visual technology. So this visual technology would make it um make it more uh was make it more exciting for the students and also just make it easier to see to make it easier to see and, and maybe they'll have a, a better understanding if they could actually see it um so evaluation of how incorporating technology in the classroom supports the school's vision and mission so our our school's 
mission um, states that we will prepare our students to um, be ready for college if they decide to go there or just be ready for the real world. Um, but in anything you do, you need um, you're going to have to have technology in this day and age. We're in the uh, day and age of technology. So you have to have technology in some sort of fashion to succeed. And by us in implementing it into our school system, into our lesson, our students are constantly learning how to use technology and they are constantly learning how to um, implement it in their lives. And they will be better students, better um and better access to the community with this um with this information. So this is uh my short video on um the lesson that I will present to the class. Thank you.